Hi everyone, it's Artist from Man Carpenter, it's just a catch up. So we could, we've done basically a a um a shape of the roof yesterday. So now we got jack rafters to infill. And then we're gonna batten it and battening will be for ventilation, for air circulation. Obviously, don't forget that it's very crucial. You're gonna need that when you, um, if you do a roof, especially if it's insulated. Um, so there's no sweating. So, just show you. That's where we are. Basically, we uh, done shape close to what it was originally. And uh, we're also gonna have a trough light inside later on. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoying it and I'll catch up in a bit. Hi everyone, it's Artist from Manic Art Entry. Just an update, so we are weather tight. Um, so today, well we got to put, as you can see, a little bit of ASB there. Uh, so on this one, what we've done differently from the other uh, conservatory, we cross battened it for uh, ease of ventilation. Uh, if you remember, first one we couldn't because we were going on, under the gutter. Uh, well here it didn't really matter but also what is different here the um, construction of the top is slightly different this it's got more raised lip on alley which brings as you can see uh, the uh, roof up more than other one um, we couldn't really go on lower because we need to form trough and trough will run just above that vent uh, so we go on as low as we can on there um, so what we're gonna do we're gonna put a soffit, vented soffit across then we're going to have a uh, support tray, felt support tray, tacked on, uh, so uh, to help stop the water obviously hitting these fascias off and direct water into the gutter. I'll just get a ladder and show you. So, so here we're gonna put 
battens on here for fascia there and then uh, so that's the stuff fascia will be basically to tidy up this edge and also to stop insects getting in uh, and then we're gonna have one of the felt portraits nailed like so uh, which will uh, help us direct water into the gutter and the other one did you pass me then one of the felt trays another one will put it as you would normally do another one will take care of felt uh felt like do the best what it needs to do the other one will fix like so to support the felt there um and also then we don't need two rows of tiles on the bottom because that will be covered by felt and felt sport tray uh, so that's what we're gonna get the outcome then we're gonna trim the corner and yeah so so any water should be driving rain it will hit it will hit the um, it will hit this uh, tray and just trickle down into the gutter so it can't basically go in and up and into the building so, so that's what we're gonna do on this one um, and yeah that should work fine so hope you're gonna enjoy it and we'll catch up in a bit Artists. just a catch-up video so I'll just show you what we've done on this one which is slightly different from our previous one this is obviously where all hips and rafters meet so this time what we've done because we had that room um, we've done the rafters first then we done counter batten uh, and then OSB um, where last time we we had to 
drill, especially on hips. We had to drill through uh, the hip for the edge circular, which was obviously a bit of, bit harder. But last time we were restricted to height. Um, unfortunately, this time as well, as you remember, I told you because we're doing the trough. Because we're doing trough inside. Uh, we had to raise it up but we come up with solution if you can see here so the tile will sit there and if there is driving uh, wind it will drip from here onto that and then down in the gutter uh, so where behind that we put a uh, vented soffit to cover the rafter ends um so insects can't get in but we still maintain that uh, airflow because that is very crucial when you have insulated roof uh, so that's how we got obviously ventilation for this one where another one we were restricted with not just um uh, doors like we are here because we couldn't go any lower for the trough etc uh, so we had to keep it at that height so um, otherwise our trough would end up in a door which is not great obviously uh, and yeah but it's gonna work so we started to um, tile it we're gonna have to obviously put some flashings here soakers and flashings and then guys will render that so we're just gonna get it all ready for them uh, but this time, yeah, it was obviously, this is also slightly different to one we had before. Uh, that channel, alley channel, is sitting higher on this one, whereas on that one it was sort of height of the, um, height of the uh, window. So basically, the uh, gutter was sitting in front and clipped on the bottom if you like so when we added plate on this one it raised it already and well you'll see in the video that we had uh, once we obviously dismantled everything the alley was sitting quite high but that is the strength so we can't remove that and that's one you know like an L shape um, which holds everything together so you can't do anything about that hence why we had have uh, become uh, have come slightly higher than we wanted to but I'm sure it will be okay and um, so it's still gonna be venting and yeah so all should be fine I hope you've been enjoying it and catch up with you in a bit